What's going on guys, Mecarina Central here. Second video since I've been back and today we're doing a review of the Aegis mech which is practically Juggernaut 2.0 as I said in the last video. That's the Max Tengu review so you guys can check that out. Now we're going to test him out. So obviously the best builds I've found to run on this guy are Disc Launcher 12s times 2. You can do a Disc Launcher 16 and an 8. You can do two mortars and if you've got the Mark Torrents, but I'm spec'd out differently, so. Uh, also, you can use Mr. Racks on him, but I don't recommend those as much because obviously the bubble seems to impede them. Now, guys, how I'm running him, I've got a Major on him, so he's got 179,000 health, which is the same as a Juggernaut. I've got an Ability Cooldown on him, Dislock to Reload, Damage, and Radius Perks. We'll go in and test him now, guys. So, yeah, pretty much just Juggernaut, but with a slightly improved functionality. He counters mortars pretty hard, so that's his main use. But you only get one use, so if multiple enemies are running mortars, he's still going to get hit. We'll go in now, guys, and as it's uh, tournament refresh, we'll do that one. There we go, this is a good map to showcase him on, actually. We'll go straight down the center. And uh, with the Aegis, I find it's not always wise to go straight in with your shield. Sometimes it's better just to throw your stuff out here. Okay, didn't get as many as I hoped, but um, I often pick and choose when I throw out the shield, so let's drop it here, and we can use it to block off certain areas. I know a lot of people get annoyed with this when you're on their team, because a lot of people just throw out the bubbles wherever, blocking everyone's shots. So that's one thing with this mech. Out that shield. I thought I saw mortars coming overhead. Don't know if the, if the bots are running mortars. Looks like they've got jabs again. Okay, so they've done an update because previously they took out the jabs from the bots. Seems they changed over again, which is good. And that means I can work on the feet to get the uh, Lionheart skin for this guy, which is what I was after. For another bubble. Ah, we lost him. Clean them up with the uh, Panther and then we'll go straight in again with Aegis. Again, if we can get down fast enough when you throw the discs. Yes, when they're using all the shield bots, it's kind of hard to get the kills. We did some serious damage though. There we go, guys. That's what we're talking about. He's going to nerf me. If I drop a shield, it must stop the nerf. Oh, I think he can still clear the shields for Aegis. Um, I'll have to test that, but he's not using his ability anyway. One other thing I like guys that I was going to mention is I'm trapping enemies in the bubble so you can use this strategically like a panther shield, throw it on an enemy while he's firing his volley and then go in and finish him off. That's something I really do like about this mech. Overall it's not a massive massive improvement versus Juggernaut but the fact that you can shield your team and then stop them all as, oh nice we trapped him in there and he didn't go for me. It seems to not trigger the AI's um, auto ability when they're behind the bubble. There we go, we got him. And we got a godlike with it, nice. Now on the flip side guys, if you were to go against an Aegis, the way to counter him would be, um, I guess, using a Guardian, if it cancels his perk, which I think it possibly does. You could also Panther Shield him and then try and outweight him and then go for him that way, so that's another way to counter him. Nice. 
second. That's a pretty good first game. 25 kills. Uh, there we go. MVP with him. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the mech. Um, as the Tengu is currently nerfed, I'm enjoying this one more than the Tengu. So I know when um, the shotgun bug is fixed, which we're going to test in the next game, because I do have a max Tengu. We'll uh, we'll see if that's fixed, but for now, just enjoying running this. So yeah, as you can see, guys, 179,480 health, exactly the same as a Juggernaut. So he's tied for Juggy. For um, well, currently my Juggy doesn't have that because he's not a legendary pilot, but they do have the same. Now what is quite funny is you go to the summary here for the mech, which means the developers need to work on it a little bit. And I think they've got uh, wrong one. Yeah, he does impede enemy attacks. Developers know that. Haha, <laughs> in him. So it says here. Oh, they must have changed it. it. Says decent HP. Right, before it was saying he was low HP, which he wasn't. Right, okay, we got a player here, guys. So this will be a good test for this mech. This is going to be the last one I do on this video for this mech. Let's drop the shield straight in. Block them all off, and then we can go and fight them all. Uh, okay, a few seconds left. There we go. Let's get to cover here, because I would suggest you still go for cover with this mech. You don't just sit there fighting them, even though it does brawl. Uh, should kill him from there. Drop the shield out. We'll block him off. Yeah, he's using something very similar, so you now he's he's in his reload phase. We can take him down. Oh, he beat me. Wow. Uh, Ares in his shield, probably still the best frontline brawler. It's just not as good for um, mortar defense and that sort of stuff. So, start getting real now, guys. Take him out. Take that shield off. Oh, I missed the second shot. <laughs> Damn it. We still got a good lead. There we go. Finished him before even needing to do anything else. Let's just see if these shotguns are still effective. So, it did seem like we got a patch, but I don't know if... Yeah, they didn't patch it. Wait, oh, that was out of range. That was out of range. Um, right, we'll try that again. Then we're going to test out the shotguns. Keep going in with the Aegis again. There we go, this is what I'm talking about. Hit all three of them. Yeah, look at that. On this map, with this launcher, it's just absolute carnage. Okay. He's coming in left side. Go against the wall. I'm getting hit too far from the other side. Yeah, he's hit down pretty hard. Okay, we did win the confrontation there. Go round. We're back into the shield. Okay, so you can win these confrontations. He's mine. No way he's doing that. Shield out. We need that right now. Nice. There's a godlike. Oh yeah. That's master play, but we died. Now he's pushing it pretty close on this one. Let's try out the Tengu's shotgun ability, see if that's been patched properly now this time. No, it still feels kind of weak there. Right as I'm about to jump, he gets me. Seven seconds, we got the win here. Yeah, it's not fully hitting. Okay, so the shotguns are not patched properly yet. Very surprised the developers haven't fixed that straight away, as that is a major issue. Well guys, we got the godlike with him. 
And that was in a PvP situation. Also beat the Ares, so that's good. Now, um, I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. Final thoughts on the mech. Absolute solid team defender mech. Now, when I'm using this in a heat team PvP situation, I am being very mindful of their shots and just being careful to guard them, you know, when the mortar fire comes overhead. So for this mech, you just want to be playing him in a support-based role. He's not like a frontline brawler, he's something you send out. It can be early, depending if they're using mortars, but anyway. Yeah, very good against mortars. That's about all I've got to say on it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the last one. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, guys.